What is up, model routers? It's your boy Tanker26. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Alco DL109 by Walters Mainline uh, in the New Haven Green and Yellow Paints game. Now, I should probably note that this is not actually my locomotive. Uh, it is actually a locomotive for which I am borrowing from a personal friend of mine who also has, uh, who also is starting up his own YouTube channel, Dawson Man B210. Thank you very much for the locomotive uh, and letting me use it. Uh, your link to your YouTube channel will be down in the video description. I can assure you that. Um, now, for this locomotive, it's pretty interesting because I didn't realize myself that it actually has two engines. So, hence why there's a bunch of windows on the side of the locomotive and that there is a bunch of vents on the side, more than usual. Um, and certainly because this engine has two motors, which actually makes it pretty damn powerful. Now, when I first started looking at this locomotive, um, I didn't realize that it could actually and has actually been a freight locomotive in history. I thought pure this was just a passenger locomotive through and through. Uh, but apparently, in real life, these DL109s actually did see freight service. So, considering that my railroad is mostly freight, uh, with the occasional passenger ser service every now and then, uh, this, will, this diesel will feel nice at home. Detail-wise, it's not bad. I mean, it's not like the locomotive that I reviewed earlier, but... I mean, for the price, it's a pretty good bargain of a price uh, for a locomotive like such. This is not um, DCC or DCC and sound. This is just standard DC. However, it is DCC ready, so you do have that option. Um, and I, I, I kind of like it, like DCC ready locomotives, purely because it gives people who are interested, who are just into DC that they do have that option of converting their DC locomotive to DCC and it's just a way cheaper process because all you have to buy is the decoder and possibly have some help at your local model railroading store whereas you might have to buy a whole completely diff new locomotive or have it paid to get completely rearranged and refitted which can get very expensive very quickly. Now, I have this on DCC uh, power control, so if you can't already hear, there is a bit of a buzzing, however, uh, that is just normal for DC, for DC locomotives that are run under DCC power. However, this, however, the buzzing noise from the DL109 here is impressively significantly quieter than that of any other DC locomotive that I have ever ran on my layout. Uh, the headlight lights up. It's a nice and bright headlight. It will only light up when I start moving the locomotive. Uh, I was a little disappointed to find out that the cab does not light up as well, because that seems to be a very typical feature for all the locomotives that I have, even the DC ones that I have. Um, but, you know, that's just me, and, you know, obviously that's a minor, minor criticism. Uh, it's a smooth running locomotive, uh, as I'm going to start up right now when I start moving. The headlights, okay, so I actually put it in reverse, so if I put it in reverse, the headlight's going to show off, going to turn off, but if I move it forward, when I start moving, the headlight will turn on. And I'm running it right now at pretty low speed, and also, it's running up a hill. See, in between my massive layout are two wooden railway bridges. And those railway bridges have a fairly significant gradient on it. So the fact that this locomotive can start slowly, granted it's not pulling any cars, um, it's a really nice runner. And yes, I am going to see if it will hook up to these cars that I just hooked it up into the back. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Okay, so normally with my freight cars, I sometimes, I oftentimes have to hook them up Emmanuel is just make sure they are they're coupled and can't usually just you know back the locomotive up to the cars and you know Just have it running willy-nilly now if you'll count 
how many cars, I mean, how many cars this is on, it's not that many, but, eh, you know what, it's a good runner nonetheless. And I'm a bit of a fool, because, okay, so I didn't bother to, <laughs> I didn't bother to take my cab forward off, which was on this freight train previously, so now I'm literally having... <laughs> I'm literally having to run the cab forward and the DL109 at the same time because I didn't bother to take the trap, take the, the cab forward off. And I'm gonna have a bit of a run by here in just a second when I bring it around. You'll get a nice run by of my cab forward, which I kind of didn't do um, on my last video review video of the cab forward um but that's just something for me to improve on in the near future uh dr man b210 if you see this video yes i did do my research and so i was just i'm just as surprised as you might be um to find out that your dl109 actually did do freight service and it wasn't occasional freight service it was a fairly decent amount of freight service i have to admit uh, here comes the run by. It's a nice puller. It's a nice locomotive. Thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. I hope it was a thrill. Hope you learned something. Um, and it's really uh, learned something new about the hobby. And I will catch you, model railroaders, next time. All aboard!